President Trump's frustration with the Russia investigation and Attorney General Jeff Sessions seems to be boiling over. Trump tweeted today, question, if all the Russian meddling took place during the Obama administration right up to January 20th, why aren't they the subject of the investigation? Why didn't Obama do something about the meddling? Why aren't Dem crimes under investigation? Ask Jeff Sessions, exclamation point. Well, some good questions. Provocative. Here's another one. Are Sessions days numbered? Let's ask our guests. Here in the studio with me, Attorney Cameron Smith, who served as counsel to Senator Sessions on the Judiciary Committee. And also joining us from Northern California is Republican Attorney John Jordan. All right, gentlemen, great to see you. Uh, Cameron, you work with uh, Senator Sessions. I mean, he's just a hero to conservatives. But, man, the president just can't. He's like a dog with a bone. He cannot drop. He cannot drop the fact that Jeff Sessions recused himself initially from this case, thinks it's unnecessary. I don't think he needed to recuse himself either. But nevertheless, where is this going? The question is, why does he keep doing this? Why does he keep eroding support for the Department of Justice? We need the president to restore our confidence. We've been through this. We want a Department of Justice that enforces the law. But when he keeps doing this, it undermines our confidence there. If he doesn't have confidence in Jeff Sessions to do the job, to root out any corruption in the Department of Justice, he should fire him. Do you think he will fire him? I don't think he will. If we look back to the campaign, he needed Jeff Sessions. That, the conservative bona fides are right there. And if he doesn't get Sessions' endorsement, he can't turn and shred the primary field. Because Sessions endorsed him, and people said, well, he must be conservative, Sessions endorses him. He went well, that's through. why Sessions got his pick of cabinet positions, <laughs> right? Jeff wanted, he wanted to be attorney general, and he got it, because he was the first senator who came out and endorsed him. I mean, you kind of had to get it, because he was, he was the man back in uh, Mobile, Alabama, that first rally. Well, and that's his background. He's a prosecutor. He wants to enforce the law. That's what he wants to do as attorney Rod general. Rod Rosenstein was a disaster pick. Should never have picked him. Well, he, was, he was a man who does not have the intestinal fortitude to, like, take the heat. When the heat got turned on, Rod, he's like, oh, you got to put a special counsel, like, like running with his hair on fire. That's not the man you want in the job. You want a man who's tough, a man who is fair but tough and also has the, has the administration's back. Now, you don't have to be a partisan, but you do have to be tough. Rosenstein was a mistake. That's my personal opinion. John, I want to hear from you. I love Jeff Sessions. He's been my friend for many years. Uh, I could have put him in a bunch of different positions, but Attorney General seemed like a really good choice for him. He's been fabulous on immigration, MS-13, a, a host of issues. Uh, he's been fantastic, but the president is just annoyed. And, I mean, what about that point Cameron made? Do we need the confidence in the Justice Department undermined by the president in the midst of this investigation? Well, first of all, nobody's disputing that uh, Attorney General Sessions is a good man, but history may well prove that in this moment where the rule of law is at stake and the Justice Department's ability to apply it even-handedly is in question, that he may in fact be a small man in a big moment of history, however good a man he may be. If ever there was a time, given all of the steel dossier facts that are coming out, uh, the, for at least at a minimum, the appearance of wrongdoing in the DOJ, this is a situation which cries out, nay, which was... Uh, for which the special counsel statute was designed for. It requires this. I mean, the OIG of the Justice Department doing investigation, Inspector that's like letting, that's the swamp things guarding the swamp things. That's, that's too weak a broth for uh, what's really required well, we don't to know. restore I mean, the, the confidence. Uh, well, the, but the inspector general is going to issue his report in the spring. The problem with that, and both of you can speak to this, is that the inspector general, does, he doesn't have any authority beyond issuing a report, correct? So he might might surprise everyone and say, this one did this, this one was a disaster, why did we do this? But then what? Then what happens? Cameron, you can weigh in. Well, do, you, do we have confidence in the attorney general or not? This is the question. If, you're, if you don't have confidence in the attorney general to manage the Department of Justice, you need to find someone who will do it. Do you think he's doing a good job? I do. I think that he is making decisions that are based on the law. He's looking at the facts, he's looking at the law, he's applying it and saying, do we prosecute or not? Sometimes that isn't the political answer you want. Right. It might be the right legal one. And John, before we let you go, really, really quick, on the Uranium One issue, he is investigating it, which is a good thing. And so they're going back and looking at that fact pattern, what happened, corruption, the payoffs, racketeering, whether, whether some funny business was going on there. That is a positive sign, yes? 
It's being looked at, but uh, in a pretty milk toast way. They apparently have some age field agents running around Little Rock looking yeah. at the Clinton Foundation, but it's not front and center. Uh, this really requires a special prosecutor, especially given the integrity questions that have really come to light yeah. in the DOJ. The, 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 the DOJ, we need to, people, some people have to move on from inside the DOJ, the Jeff Sessions notwithstanding. Uh, guys, great segment. And up next, a church and state twist. Both are being targeted. In a lawsuit, we'll tell you why a lesbian couple is suing both the Trump administration and a Catholic organization. Stay here.